Our 73 kilo athletes. Christina Bangma in lane number two gets a successful lockout. And we are sticking to the same weights for these athletes. The barbell at 79.5 kilos, 175 pounds. And there's that anchor yoke with its high gravity nature. Christina Bangma is going to have to give it everything she's got if she wants that overhead lock. Trying to go into that, that split jerk. I feel like it's a really tough one with this implement. You, know, you really have to have that, you know, that implement nice and still before doing a split jerk. So with that movement, it's just making it a, a lot trickier. But it was kind of like a, a bit of a last ditch effort, right? Like if yeah. the push press doesn't work, let's go for the split. Let's if that doesn't do work, it. we tried everything. Yeah, exactly. Why not? You never know. All right, heat two. Bobby Sundberg of Sweden in lane one. Jess Tate of England in lane number two. And Martina Arsulik of Norway in lane number three. And as you mentioned, there will be no weight changes in implements from the women's 40 plus to the women's under 73. The only thing that changes is that anchor yoke height. Yes. Each athlete was outfitted with their unique height based on their preferences and body height. But everything else stays the same. Heat number two. Martina and Bobby on to the monster dumbbell with both beautiful barbell presses. On to the monster dumbbell, and it is 46.5 kilos. It's like 190, am I saying that? Yes, 192 pounds. 103 pounds, sorry. 15 seconds remain. I was going to say 192 pounds, oh. that would be pretty impressive, but it, it was, was 103 pounds. And you just pounds. saw it slightly deviate out there to the side for Bobby. This is where, oh, just running out of time. Now, guys. you said you love the dumbbell. What is a technique that you try to keep in mind, or what do you tell yourself as you're doing it to get maximum execution? So I think it is about really focusing on pushing up, not pushing out. You're not going to be able to maintain that brace or that solid press if you're pushing that dumbbell away. You need to make sure that you are pushing that dumbbell straight up, getting your bicep close to your ear and getting that solid lockout and getting nice and tight once it's overhead. Words of wisdom that everyone who doesn't hate, doesn't like dumbbells should take note of. I mean, that's that's what I think has worked for me um, with progressing in that lift. It's just really focusing on pushing up and being confident with it. Heat three in lane one, Evelyn Valdez of USA. In lane two, Olivia Hoyam of Canada. And in lane number three, Megan Hogg of USA. I heard someone tell me to think of dumbbell as a throw and a catch. How much do you think that's true? I've never heard that, so I might try it. Kind of emphasizes the does, leg aspect. Yeah, it does make sense. It does make sense. Wow. Beautiful from Evelyn there on that barbell. That was speedy. Let's see. We also have Emily Naismith in lane number four of Australia. I forgot to mention. See Megan there. Wow, that looks so great having lanes one, three, and four all synchronized in that yeah, dumbbell lockout. That was amazing. All on to that pesky yoke there. Taking a breather. This is what it's about here. This, you need to compose yourself on this lift. Emily almost had that thruster really work for her there. Ooh. And Evelyn with the split jerk. Almost had it. 
These girls really struggling here, but they are not giving up yet, and the time has went. The thing is, it is a timed event, so even if you don't get to the end, your time is going to play a big part in the point system here, so you, you, it's hard to just say, I'm going to leave it. It is very hard, and they've, every athlete has worked so hard to be here. But that yoke, 87 kilos, 192 pounds, that weight on a barbell would be incredibly respectable as it is. Yes. But on a yoke like this, it's not, it's not the official Strongman Games World Final for no reason. Exactly. Part of the double negative, but wow, it's a, um, it has we, to be a test of their strength. Yes, 100%. And we have Chloe Brennan coming up here, an amazing athlete from the UK. Fast as well. We'll have Christina Miares of USA in lane one. Jenny Roberts of USA in lane two, Chloe Brennan of Great Britain in lane number three, and Millie Flanagan of England in lane number four. This is going to be a good heat. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of these ladies get into the block. I'm feeling confident about this heat. I think they are too. I see the faces. It's game time. So technical, so fast and rhythmic. She is a very experienced Olympic. She, she's amazing at the Olympic lifts. She has been practicing and nailing these lifts for a few years now. So she's very quick, but you can see she's very composed going into that yoke. She's not rushing it. She was not far off. That was right there. She, she's got it. She's, she, she's got it. That focus is so powerful out of Chloe. Oh, it was so close. It's, it comes down to that stability thing with that rocking motion. She's going to go for another attempt. No, it's just not there. She's smiling. She's smiling. She is still very much in her element. Now, you spoke about Chloe's Olympic weightlifting background. Yes. And Olympic weightlifting is strong, man. Sometimes it's hard to draw the parallels in how they help each other. But this seems to be an event where that can really shine and help. What do you think? Yeah, I 100% agree. Um, I definitely think on that barbell, obviously, you're using less of your arms if you're able to do that push jerk or split jerk, which is then allowing you to save that energy for the rest of the event. I think two things that we saw in Chloe is that Olympic the weightlifting background really teaches an athlete how to focus and turn that switch on when needed, but also that explosiveness yes. and that confidence in the jerk motions. Yes, amazing. Our okay. next heat. We have heat number five, Alicia Donner of the USA in lane one, and lane number two will be Jenna Fer Gemma Ferguson of the UK, Emily Flowers in lane three of USA, and Laura DeBert Romilly of Canada in lane number four. Can we see this block being pressed? What do you think? You know, I have gotten the pleasure of getting to see Laura Romilly really take to some of the biggest stages despite being one of the smaller framed athletes, and her strength has continued to increase. Her experience has increased from contest to contest, so I am definitely going to keep my eyes on her, but these other athletes are surely powerhouses. we got Jenna Ferguson as well, who was an under-82 um, athlete. It dropped weight this year into the under 73s. Uh, still phenomenal. Still has her strength. You can see there moving on to the yoke. Alicia Donner, though, her upper back shelf as she's pressing these implements looks so solid. But Laura's right there with them on this anchor yoke. Laura rushing into that. You've got, she's got to compose herself here and get that stability. Come on, ladies. The swinging of the yoke is really, really putting them off here, Gabe. Every oh. pick just really takes... I, I picture the battery icon in our yeah. phones just start to dwindle <laughs> down, down, down. 
Yeah. It's so frustrating for them. I can see in their faces it it really is, but they they are really working hard. They are pushing themselves and trying so hard. It's just it's not an implement they've used before. You know, Laura is one of the younger athletes on, on the field right there. And you, she, one of her biggest strengths is her explosiveness, but we see where it really took away from her. She was just getting so quick under that yoke, not stabilizing it, and every time she picked it up, it just took more and more away. Hopefully it leaves her with some uh, power reserves for all the events to come. But I hope so. That yoke, it just seems to be a, a really big challenge, it's and I love killer. seeing it. It's a killer. I'm sure that love is lost on the athletes underneath it, but... I'm not sure I'd like that event. <laughs> but it does look cool. It does look cool. Okay, we have Heat 6, Jenny Draper of USA in Lane 1, Lauren Ryder of USA in Lane 2, Nancy Johnson, USA in Lane 3, and Laura O'Connor Butler of USA in Lane number 4 in all USA field. Nancy Johnson back with a vengeance after an unfortunate broken ankle last year. not holding her back. She moves through these first two with ease. Yeah. Lauren Ryder, the first one to the block. Wow. Oh, and, and moving with ease, nice clean there. Come on. Oh, so she was close. So, so close. Uh, Lauren Ryder. Wow. Nancy's struggling a little bit there, but I think she's got it in her. Come on. She's got time. She needs to take her time here. Ten seconds left, and Lauren is right there cheering on Nancy. I love the camaraderie, the camaraderie in the sport. Yeah. It's amazing. Lauren Ryder. Wow. Fellow Texan. Yeah. I've had the pleasure of having her compete at some shows that I've promoted. And it is amazing to see her progress. She's all smiles yes, walking off that of stage. Yes, she would be. That was, that was really amazing. 40.1 seconds as a finish time for Lauren Ryder. Incredible. Big points. All right, our final heat in this division, Kim Scott of USA in lane one, Jessica Mitchell, USA in lane two. Sonia Romanowski of Canada in lane three, and Sherry Zimmerman of USA in lane four. Our final heat here, really hoping to see some of the ladies get it on that yoke. Really hope they've been watching and know that they really do have to compose themselves here. We talked about it before, composure is that word. Major factor in the athlete's wheelhouse they need to have. <laughs> Jessica Mitchell, speed. Kim Scott right behind her, and Sherry Zimmerman. Wow. All four athletes advance. Stabilizing herself. Oh, so close. She's got it there. She's got it in her. Oh, oh. And did she get it? She didn't get it. She didn't get it. Beautiful technique there, but just struggling to stabilize at the top. It's that rocking. As soon as it's up, it's just swinging back. It is a massive order to fill to, to have to catch and stabilize that bar from the jerk on this anchor yoke. It's so frustrating because you can see, you can see the strength is there. And our women under 73 kilo class, Lauren Ryder, fellow Texan, finishing four reps in 40.31 seconds, the only athlete to get all four implements in the event. Nancy Johnson, three reps in 13.18 seconds, blistering speed for those first three implements. Chloe Brennan, narrowly behind with two reps in 11.25 seconds. Megan Hogg, two reps in 12 seconds. And look how close, Jessica Mitchell, two reps in 12.38 seconds, with a bit of a gap from everyone else down that line. 
And 11th place, Laura O'Connor Butler. Two reps in 19.35 seconds. Even from the previous athletes I mentioned, still only about a five to six second margin of difference there. And we see a close, close gap between 11th and 15th place where Christina Bangma finished two reps in 23.19 seconds. That is less than four full seconds separating those five placings there. 16 through 19 only get one rep, that first barbell. 10.4 seconds all the way down to 11.6 seconds with the rest of the athletes not getting that bar, falling a bit short. And Jess has taken off with a good start. Great cross pick up there, and she is off. Dropping it for the first time, that's amazing. Let's get it over that line, Jess. And she's getting it over the line. She is going back for those stones. Come on, Jess. Oh, she went to the wrong stones. Ah, uh, they should have just let her do it. Mm. There's no one that else there. That would have been funny. <laughs> Come on, Jess. Wow. She's got that grit. The grit, the determination in this. I just love it. Five seconds. Come on, finish it. Come on. Well done. I saw that stone kind of take a bite out of her ankle right yeah, there on the last one. Yeah, a little one. bit. Just going to put the, the frame and the stones back in their place. Then we have our next team coming out. In lane number one will be Olivia Hoyam of Canada. In lane number two, Christina Miares of USA. In lane number three, Millie Flanagan of England, a three-woman heat. are just about ready for our second heat in the under 73 kilo category. Ladies with the sticks and stones carry. The whistle has been blown. Here we go. Christina Miara is kind of reaching a little forward on those handles there, yeah, getting I, a bit of a lean. How do you feel about techniques like that? I mean, I feel like she's going to get a, quite a back pump with doing that. I think you could possibly use some more leg drive there, picking up. But, she, I mean, she is managing, but the frame is... I feel like her hands are not in the right position. Her frame is very off, and it's, it's just making it a little bit harder there for her. I think so, too. I feel like some athletes might feel like it's easier to initially get it up, but you make your job almost impossible to start moving well. And in lane number one, Olivia Hoyam of Canada is really giving it her all. She is struggling with that deadlift off the ground. I saw her face turn to the exact same color as the yeah. frame, but leaving nothing on the table here. She's just giving it her absolute all. The We've same can be said about Millie Flanagan in lane three. Yeah, I think if Christina just, you know, went more uh -oh. in a squat position there. I think we got to pass out. Oh, one. oh dear. Well, we she's did okay. say she was she's trying. Okay. She's okay, she's awake. Yeah, she's good. You can see here, these athletes, what they're putting in here, what they're giving to these, this competition that she's just passed out she, with the effort she was putting into that. She didn't stop. She didn't stop all the way. She kept trying and trying, you know, and it wouldn't budge. You can't help but respect it, but you get to see, like, there is, there is no holding back. No. These athletes have made it to the world's strongest stage. Incredible, ladies, incredible. Heat number three will be a four-woman <laughs> heat. Emily Flowers of USA in lane one. Jenny Roberts of USA in lane two. Sonia Romanowski of Canada in lane three. And Bobby Sundberg of Sweden in lane number four. Lane number four from Sweden, Bobby has definitely gotten to a point where that frame weight and the width is just becoming so big of a hurdle for some of these athletes. 
I agree. I agree. And like you said, you know, the, the ones that are, I find this quite easy, are the ones with the longer arms, because um, it is much easier. They're obviously getting a better grip of the handles itself. But arm length is not everything. And no, how it's well not. have they trained their upper back is another big question. Exactly. Wow. Bobby Sundberg of Sweden is out of the hot at the gates. Nice fast pickup. The pickup is nice and easy. Just maintains that grip strength now. Keep moving forward. It's tough as well, because since you have feel your hands slipping on this event, your mind just wants to put it down. Absolutely. But one of the things you don't want to have happen is the, ha the handle just rip itself free because there might be some skin that goes with it. And that's bad news for the rest of the competition yeah, events. Yeah, we don't, we definitely don't want that. So it's an event that you want to, you know, listen, listen to your body, but keep trying. You see, unfortunately, the lanes one to three are struggling to get, to get the frame off the floor, unfortunately. Bobby Sunberg gets her frame. But with less than five seconds, that's all she's getting. She moved it, still points. As you said before, it's still points. I think I see that lane three might have gotten an inch or two. Okay, oh Maybe, yes, Maybe, but yes. That, that is points. That is points can, that cannot be discounted right there. But that same level of frustration with watching that anchor yoke, watching the athletes get stuck there on that starting line that are just, not quite able to get that thing off the ground. That's tough. That That's very tough. tough. And how dare we sit here and say it's tough when it's literally tough for yeah. them trying to do the thing. Yeah, as well for them, you know, not to get that, as we said in the first event, they have to learn just to go, you know, go home now and refocus on tomorrow. Heat four in lane one will be Martina Arsulik of Norway. In lane number two will be Christina Bangma of USA. Lane three, Sherry Zimmerman, USA. And lane number four, Alicia Donner, USA. Donner and Zimmerman. 470 pounds is no match for these ladies. I'm wondering how these stones fare. We've got some nice steps there from Alicia on the USA lane four there, and she's about to complete it. Alicia, incredible. Well done. Sherry's still doing very well. Unfortunately, her stride is allowing those stones to get in front and behind her, which is bad news for continuing it. But she has crossed the line with both stones she and she's completed. Unfortunately, lane Look one and lane two still trying. Still trying. Time's up. Celebrating together, two ladies. Well done. Incredible. New leader for the six years old, Carrie. Sherry Zimmerman, our new leader. Heat number five will take the arena floor. Jenny Draper of USA in lane one. Laura O'Connor Butler of USA in lane two. Kim Scott, USA in lane three. And Laura DeBert Romilly of Canada in lane number four. Here is our next These athletes have a well-trained grip. They can blaze hot out the gates, clear the distance fast, and move on to those stones. Oh, we've got 
Kim Scott and Laura off. Laura still going strong. Look at this, it's beautiful. Laura from Canada has got that frame over. Laura. It's incredible going back to the stones now. Wow, this is incredible. She's doing a good job not letting those stones get too far in front or behind of her calves. Long legs, she's had to pick them up quite a distance as well. That's, she's doing really well. That is, that Laura. is amazing. Wow. Woo, and she's celebrating. Yes, girl. Look at that elation. So, so happy. Well done. We love to see it. Just Walking incredible past work. Us now. It's big smile on face. Getting congratulated there from Mitchell Hooper. Incredible. All right, Eve, you got this. Strong grip. And we saw her, Laura in that first event where her explosiveness, her speed, her ballistic nature was maybe just not quite suited for the instability factor of yep. those different implements. But here, she has that unbreakable grip. She has the long limbs, that upper back power. It paid off. It did. She was incredible. We have heat six taking to the frames. Gemma Ferguson of the UK in lane one, Evelyn Valdez of USA in lane two, Emily Naismith of Australia in lane number three, and Jessica Mitchell of USA in lane number four. And lane number four for the USA, Jessica Mitchell. Here we go, and as we move up, we are moving up the leaderboard. So we're expecting to see some faster times here as we move up. Just making sure everything is set. Making sure the floor is dry so there's no slipping. We don't want that for any of our athletes. And here we go, the whistle has been blown. Yeah, you got it. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. All four athletes He's straight away pick up. You got it. You got it. One more pick. One more pick. You got Let's it. Go. Incredible. No, so got Evelyn you got it. Oh, in lane oh, two oh, has oh, now yeah, completed Evelyn our frame Valdez. going back for the stones. Commit to it. And she's went for hook grip there for those stones, which is horrendously painful. But it does help. It Love does help. Rope. You've got to have some Dead mental side. resilience to it. do hook grip alone. But to be able to carry it, those Keep stones, it. this is oh, unbelievable. Keep fighting, Eve, get there! Come on! Now, Amazing. how would you explain hook grip to our viewers at home? Well, you're tucking your thumb in first and putting the fingers over the thumb, so all that weight is crushing your thumb, but it does give you a better advantage in that grip. But, it, you know, your thumb feels like it's going to break off. I mean, it's literally the pressure of all that <laughs> weight crushing the bone itself. Yeah. You know, you're not closing against it. You've got it resting on your bone. And I have to say, every time I've done stone carries like this, like the actual nickel stones, I have used a hook grip. Oh, it's well. painful, but, I mean, it you, you are more secure. And your grip letting go is more dependent on, your, on that clamp that your thumb is yeah. serving the purpose of. Yeah, it is brutal, but it definitely is one to use in an event like that. For sure. Okay, we've got our last heat here. Our top four women in lane one, Megan Hogg of USA. In lane number two, Chloe Brennan of Great Britain. In lane number three is Nancy Johnson of USA. And in lane number four, Lauren Ryder, our gold shirt of the USA. See there, Chloe making sure she's happy with her stones, being very meticulous with that. Chloe being one of the few ladies to have picked up the Dinny stones. 
Chloe also very, very fast in moving events. But we've also got Lauren Ryder in the corner there, lane four, with her leader shirt on. And as I said, Chloe is extremely fast in moving events. But right behind her is Nancy in lane three. We'll be fighting it out here for this. Nancy taking the lead so far. Lauren is coming up behind him as well. Nancy onto the stones. Chloe's so struggling with her hands a little bit there. Oh, and Nancy's went for a different approach on moving those stones. He's going on front and back. What do you think of this? It's an interesting technique. I, I, I wonder if this is due to that she's a shorter athlete and she did not feel comfortable with having the stones crashing against her, but... You gotta do what works for you. You gotta do what works for you, and she is our leader in this heat, so... I mean, that change was obviously made for a reason, but... Andrea Thompson taking the win there. Wow, that was absolutely... We'll say it again. What was it? Well, that was incredible. That drink was incredible. that simple protein shake. Take a drink. Take a drink. Gabe Benya back on the mic. Oh, wow. I was watching side, side field right there, and wow. Claire Myler and Andrew Thompson. For a second there, it looked like Claire Myler was going to have it, but Andrea is just so explosive off the ground. She is. In the time it took her to lock that bar out, that was it. Just... That was nail biting. That was... I love that, but I knew. I knew that was going to be insane. All right, lane one, Olivia Hoyam of Canada, and lane number two, Millie Flanagan of England. Lane number three, Emily Flowers, USA. Lane number four, Jenny Roberts, USA. Next week will be Laura O'Connor Butler of USA in lane one, Christina Miara of USA in lane two, Jenny Draper of USA in lane three, and Gemma Ferguson of the East Gate in lane number one. Jenny 
Okay, we've got Gemma Ferguson coming up on to that fourth bar from the UK in lane four. Okay, in lane number one is Jessica Mitchell of the USA. In lane number two, Kim Scott, USA. Lane number three, Lauren Ryder. Some impressive performances yesterday, USA. And in lane number four, Emily Naismith of Australia. Kim Scott, fast on the way up. All four athletes advance to that 405. Look at that narrow stance from Kim Scott. It makes me nostalgic of Nick Best's deadlift stance. Super narrow. I'm quite a narrow deadlifter myself. I find that much, much easier than going wide. So I think it's just something you've got to play about with and see, again, what works for you. And the thing is, we all have our own unique levers. Different leg lengths, different femur lengths, different arm lengths. 100%. I love seeing all these athletes having perfect their own specific techniques. Emily Naismith giving it her all oh. on that fourth bar. You can see from that side profile view, just as the weight of the bar starts to pull on the athlete's back, the back starts to round, those lower back muscles are just falling a bit short of bracing enough to overpower the bar. But the deadlift bar don't lie, and we know that to be true. That is true. In lane number one, it's Cole Brennan. In lane number two, in lane number one, Chloe Brennan of Great Britain. In lane number two, Bobby Sundberg of Sweden. In lane number three, Nancy Johnson of USA. In lane number four, Just Tate of England. I see Nancy there with a the gold shirt on, leader shirt. Here we go. Wow. Chloe and Nancy through the second bar. It's nice and fast here. Nancy just in front slightly there. Nancy is so statically strong on deadlifts. And it is showing here. She doesn't have straps with her at all. A clear powerlifting background. Beautiful. That little shake just coming just below the knee, but then that hip drive comes through nice and powerful. 530 pounds on the mammoth bar. Come on, Nancy. 15 seconds. Nancy did everything right there. She did not explosively jerk on that bar. She pulled steady with low gear power. It was just not enough to get those weights to break off the ground, but incredible prowess and execution on those first four bars. I agree. Our final heat, Evelyn Valdez of USA in lane one, Sherry Zimmerman, USA in lane two, 
Laura DeBert Romilly of, U of Canada in lane three and Alicia Donner of the USA in lane number four. Nancy Johnson, our current USA leader, four bars in 29.6 seconds. But can anyone get that fifth and final bar? These are our athletes that did the best in the final event of yesterday, where they got to exhibit a lot of the same deadlift strength power they're needing here today. So we'll see. We will see. Laura Romilly, wow. so fast and explosive with Zimmerman right behind her. Incredible there from Laura. Wow. Sherry Zimmerman takes the lead. She's just popped right in front of her there. That is an easy lift again there. Are we going to see this fifth bar? We might. Zimmerman made clean work. L Laura Romilly reaching close to the end of her performance capacity. Getting them straps on. Has she got time? She got About heaps of time. 15 seconds. Oh, oh, it's yeah, oh. No, she's gonna leave it there. Alicia Donner giving Come everything. On. Oh. <laughs> Those moments when the bar starts fighting back, it is hard to overpower it. It is hard. But what an incredible performance. Laura Romilly so fast so off fast. the gate, hitting those three bars. Incredible. Absolutely. There's another time to drink a protein shake. Incredible. Incredible. And yet, the fifth bar remains unlifted. Yep. Sherry Zimmerman will be our event leader, narrowly edging out Nancy Johnson. I don't have an official time there, but lightning fast blazing through those first four. And we get ready for the Predators. Here we go, under 82s. We're You'll going up in weights, aren't we? Yeah, you will see our Army of Blue Shirt staff on the field elevating the bars to 405 pounds as the first bar. That's right, 184 kilos for the first bar. 455 pounds, 206 and a half kilos on the second bar. 495 pounds, that is five full plates. Wow. And 20, 224 and a half kilos for that fourth bar. Oh, sorry, third, that's the third bar. Third, the fourth bar is 525, yeah. 20, uh, 238 kilograms. And the fifth and final bar, a whopping 560 pounds, 254 kilos. These are massive. Wow. Wow. I mean, that is my weight category right there. And my max deadlift is 210. Wow, so, <laughs> so that second bar is close to your PR. Yes. It, it's something special to see a bar loaded with four 45 pound plates yep. as the opening bar of this deadlift ladder. That is crazy. Oh, we have the scores up here for under 73 ladies. Sherry Zimmerman there with the four bars in 23.57 seconds. Followed closely behind her, Nancy Johnson, four bars, 24.96 seconds. And in third place, we've got Laura. Laura DeBert Romilly, three bars in 18.97 seconds. Chloe Brennan, fourth place, three bars, 20.47 seconds. Only two athletes to finish four bars out of that ladder. Just goes to show you how, how heavy these weights are. These are heavy. Okay, in 11th place there, we've got Jenny Draper with two bars at 8.27 seconds. So these, all these ladies ranging from 11th to 20th place got the two bars. We've got Christina. Miares. Two bars, 25.8 seconds. And then finishing off with one bar in nine point five seconds, we've got Christina Bangma of the USA. Also with two bars, we've got Sonia Romanowski and Olivia Hoyam. 
An shake, everybody. Do it. Said the I word. Here we go, we're off under, with our under 73 category ladies. The weights remain the same for all women's under 73. Naomi Zimba of Zambia in lane one and Olivia Hoyam of Canada in lane two. Look at that quick turnover. You can feel the weight of that tombstone by watching Olivia there. Burning, burning. Keep moving forward with it. Come on. Fight it till you get to that sled. Come on. The longest seconds of her life right here. She can do it. She does it now. Just got to flip it in and get pulling, girl. Get it in. Come on. She fought for that. With every, every breath. Oh. She's fried, but her legs are having to raise that constantly. Oh, Naomi, coming in hot, coming in hot. Can she take over? The pressure's on. Here we go. It's like, oh, I think she is. Oh, I wanted to see the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> You can just see the facial expression in Olivia Hoyam's face right there. She was so tired and she looked so sad in the moment just because her body must have been screaming against her. I'm sad that whistle, that whistle went. Yeah, give us 10 more seconds. Let's I know. See how it we, want to, we want to see the end. That's what we want to see, though. That's what we want to see. Just that sheer determination and willpower to not quit. Our second heat of our women's under 73 kilo class will start with Emily Flowers in lane one of the USA, Jenny Roberts of the USA in lane two, and Millie Flanagan of England in lane three. hear all the heavy equipment in the background there is a lot of equipment to move this show fast and that's exactly what's happening thanks to our smurf army here in blue nice speedy start here in lane one going back for that who's fast now sound back Of this second box. Jenny Roberts gets it up, but not a secure grip. That may be distance that the other ladies won't get. We'll see. Going for a different approach here with this sandbag. Don't think that's going to work. That might work on a stone that's very rigid, but not on a sandbag. No. The ladies are struggling with this bag. It is heavy. 200 pounds, 90 and a half kilos. You saw Jenny going for a flip right there, trying to get whatever distance she could. Look how relieved they are to get that bag off. Take it off. 48 pounds, 22 kilos. All the ladies smiling coming off though. They're obviously enjoying themselves. It's a fun event. It is very fun. It might be testing the absolute peak of their performance capability, but it is a fun event. P3 takes the field. We have Sonia Romanowski of Canada in lane one, Christina Bangma of the USA in lane two, and Christina Liaras of USA in lane three, with Martina Arsulik of Norway in lane four.
Christina Bangma is the pace setter here, but that tombstone is what broke everyone on the last one. Let's see. I hope she can get it. She's got it. With Martina Arsulik of Norway, not far behind. Strides from Martina. Oh, oh. Martina oh, gets Martina. it just before she does. Christina Bengma. She does that big explosive pull, get it over the line. But Christina Bengma is such an impressive athlete. I, have, I remember seeing her name constantly in contests from just as far back as my memory goes. And she's competed at many of the national championships that I've gone to in the past. It's good to see her still in such top form. And definitely big points after yesterday for all of these athletes. Well done, ladies. You can see how tired it is. Yeah, no kidding. We continue down our heats. Heat number four in lane will be Just Tate of England. Lane number two will be Laura O'Connor Butler of the USA. Lane number three will be Jenny Draper of the USA. And lane number four, Megan Hogg, USA. here and how this event might go for me if I was doing it. And, and what's the verdict? Well, I like to be positive and think I can do it, but these are heavy weights. And these ladies are doing amazing. And your weight class is only the next one, not even this one. <laughs> it's not even this one. Let's go! Look at Laura O'Connor Butler stepping on the gas. Jess Tate on the pool as well. Very fast speed from these ladies. Jess Tate picking up the pace as well. I think Alana has it in the bag. Can she keep pulling? And she does. But Megan Hogg narrowly behind her. Valuable points for Megan. I can see the look on her face after some of the prior events. And this is probably a very well felt victory for her in the points realm. All four ladies finishing with very respectable times. A tombstone is no longer such an unbeatable adversary. No, it is not. Heat number five in lane one will be Kim Scott of the USA. Lane number two, Alicia Donner, USA. Lane three, Bobby Sundberg of Sweden. And lane number four, Evelyn Valdez, USA. those game faces. They are ready. These ladies are focused, ready to attack and operate.
hear the sound of a weed blower there. <laughs> Aaron Molin. Making sure D that we're all tidied up. There he is on screen, dusting off the field, getting any excess chalk, any slipping hazards off the arena floor. Sunberg fast, but Tim Scott yes. putting on the pressure. Wow, Bobby, don't you keep that lead? She needs to be fast. 38.89 seconds by Laura Connor Brothers. It's time oh. to beat. Check out Kim Scott here. Those strides are working well for her. Oh, they are beautiful. And she gets it. Kim Scott finishing about 41 seconds. Not fast enough to beat Coral Connor Butler, but right there in a very, very fast placing. Nancy Johnson with 89 points in first place. Chloe Brennan not far behind her with 84 points. And we've got Laura. DeBert Romilly, one point behind Chloe. That, that is incredible then going down to our 10th place. Megan Hogg, 65 points. That is your top 10 women there for the under 73s. That's looking like a good category. Indeed. Just in, in, in. Like positive to channel into her training to make sure that she improves. She looks back and sees where she can improve in the event itself. Andrea Thompson will be our event leader with a 28.28 second finish in the Women's Masters 40 category. All right, this is our Women's 73 Kilo class. Up first, going solo will be Megan Hogg of the USA. What do you think about going solo as a competitor on an event like this? Does that help or is it a crutch in a sort? I think uh, with her being the first one out, it's, it's, it's quite scary. It's a scary thing. And you haven't got that extra push next to you of the actual competitiveness of looking over and seeing somebody maybe slightly in front of you to give you that boost. But it's looking like Megan does not need that. She's flying through this. But also could be a positive where you're just focusing on yourself and not having to worry about the person next to you. Megan on the final bag, 35 pounds, 16 kilos. Ooh. She had the height, not the distance. She's oh, so close, so but that energy tank is dwindling with every toss. She needs to brace, collect, and really focus here. Oh! Oh, Megan, come on. She's a bit too far away, I feel. One more step back and she's good. Yeah, I, I, Two I agree. Two wind-up tosses, that's energy. Yeah, she's oh. too far away. She's got one more shot. Can she make it? She's got five seconds. She's going to have to really go for it here. Oh! But Megan Hogg, a stellar attempt right there. She is one of our athletes a bit taller in this weight category. Taller, leaner, but really using those long levers to her advantage. I'm wondering how these following heats are going to fare in comparison because that was fast in getting to that final bag. She was extremely fast, did really well there. Okay, in heat number two, we will have Laura O'Connor Butler in lane number one and Gemma Ferguson of the UK in lane number two. Wow. Gemma Ferguson and Laura both onto that Laura looking very strong and getting ample distance over the standard there. Laura onto her last bag here. Oh! Laura Connor Butler. Wow. Wow. That just went over there perfect, didn't it? A nice little rollover. Gemma struggling on this 30 pound bag. She just needs to 
calm, keep myself collected, try and get this next bug. That but energy twink tank is just dwindling. For those of, of you at home that haven't done this before, you know, it looks so simple, but it does require a lot of energy using your full body and full explosive power to get that bag over. I'm so glad to see O'Connor Butler in this final because it just proves what a force to be reckoned with. That toss all the way through the end, energy, efficiency, and clearing it every single bag so well. Heat number three, we will have Emily Naismith of Australia in lane one and Bobby Sundberg of Sweden in lane number two. We talked about it in our intro. I have been so impressed with that Swedish strength exhibited here at OSG this year. She is switched on. Bobby is ready for this. You've seen as she was coming out there, she had the game face on. Not enough distance from Naismith. Plenty of height. See, Bobby really taking her time on those swings, really staying calm and collected. And it's working. And again, onto that 30 pound bag now. Neck and neck, both ladies on the third, on the fourth bag. Oh, so close. Emily taking the lead. The final bag for Naismith in lane one. The height is there for Bobby, but just not getting the distance. This is where Naismith really needs to take her pause, find good footing and placement. Yes, Bobby, well done. Less than 10. Bobby, we need to have the, we need to get this one now. She knew there. She knew that she'd like go too soon and wasn't gonna make it. She does she looks disappointed. She shouldn't be. She gave it her all. Easy for us to say though. It the is, pressure's I know. on, the stakes are high. This will determine who is the world's strongest woman. I know, it is, but she should be still proud of herself. Heat four. We'll take the arena floor. Lane number one is Lauren Ryder of the USA and Sherry Zimmerman of the USA. Lauren Ryder, another athlete that's really, um, well, both athletes actually, really stood out to me today. Lauren and Sherry. Lauren both. with that event win on that press medley. Yep. Sherry actually quite far away from the frame, but... She knows she can do it with those first few, but these are getting heavier. She seems to be working. Wow. wow. Those 30-pound bags don't phase Zimmerman. Incredible. Okay. Incredible. Possible new leader here from Sherry Zimmerman. Going into this one. Resetting herself. Sherry yes. Zimmerman, our new event leader with about a 26-second finish right there. I'm calling it. Wow. What, what a performance. What a smooth operator. Fast, but still very calm. She knew exactly where she needed to be for each bag, even with that last bag. Moving slightly closer, she has perfected this. Lauren Ryder on her final bag. Ooh. She has time, 10 seconds left. Come on, Lauren. We, we're right behind you. Oh, energy gone on that last one, as you said. She, she got to that last bag. Very good points. With Zimmerman, she got her 26 second finish there. She did her business and she took off the field. <laughs> it's a, clearly a woman who is focused and means business here at the final. Heat number five takes the arena floor with Jessica Mitchell of USA in lane one and Laura DeBert Romilly of Canada in lane number two. Twenty-seven point zero eight seconds is the time to beat by Sherry Zimmerman, our new event leader. Laura, very explosive athlete. We've seen it. She's got long limbs. This is an event for her. But Mitchell, not to be trifled with, wow. a powerhouse. Oh, oh, she makes it. She needs to get a little bit closer here. No. Nope. Oh, costly, costly hit. Very explosive here from both these ladies. I think, ooh, if Jessica had gotten that bag, I think she maybe would have been an event win there. She's still got time. I can't help but speculate that that Whoa! wind up toss. Wow, Mitchell. That's going to be close. Romilly catching up onto her last 30 pound bag. Mitchell's 
Yes. There it is. Final bag. Here goes Romilly. Jessica Mitchell, stage side, cheering on her opponent. You've got time. Come on. Big breath now. Well, Gave it her all. Well Still done. all smiles from Romilly. Impressive performance. Incredible. I love seeing Mitchell right there. Just cheering on Laura. Just Yeah. Uh, it's incredible. That is what the sport is. Okay. Chloe Brennan of Great Britain takes lane number one in heat six and Nancy Johnson of the USA in lane number two. Nancy sporting her gold event shirt win. She is switched on. We can see her quite closely from the side here. Look at that face. Every finalist gets a black shirt with gold letters, but Nancy showing that she did win the events. Look at my gold shirt. Take that in, ladies. Here we go. She's ready. Look at that distance from Nancy. Very confident, going straight to that next back. No, she knows she's getting... Oh, oh no, oh. no. Oh. That is a costly error. She got it. She gets it. Still got all the bags in a very, very good time. Still got all the bags. I'm, I'm wondering of that particular judge call. I'm not one of the judges. That is a complex call right there. She had to make sure to retoss it, and there's a specific order that she had to do it. And it's going to be curious to see how that plays out, but true show of force by Nancy Johnson. Chloe Brennan on her last bag here. She still has time. Come on, Chloe. Just still smiling. Ran out of her energy there. The explosive power just wasn't in it on that last bag, but both ladies incredible. Now we have 11 competitors in this category. Megan Hogg of the USA will go solo there in lane one. Two fifty goes up very well onto the two seventy five for Megan Hogg. To the lap. Come on, she gets oh it. yes. Her height definitely playing a big advantage there. She has ten seconds, she needs to move. Come on, Megan, we want to see this. You've got this. Not quite enough time. Well done. Going out there on your own at the last event. Well done. Wow. Her height really. It really helped. Really though. was critical in getting that 275 stone there. Our next two competitors will take the arena floor. Gemma Ferguson of the UK in lane one and Laura O'Connor Butler of the USA in lane number two. O'Connor Butler just smashing that bag toss prior to this event. One motion wow. from O'Connor Butler. Again, both ladies onto that third zone. Gemma, beautiful pick up there. Can she get that load? Yes, she can. Ladies are flying. There's something I was hoping I wouldn't see. The athlete has to know when to do a one motion and when to just take that two phase lift. I agree. A little bit too soon on that lean forward for Gemma. And you can see how fried 
her posterior chain is the hips, the hamstrings, the lower back. No problem in. getting it to the lap. Uh, lower back and hamstrings are fried. Gemma run out of time, sadly. What a fight to the end there. Both those ladies, incredible. Heat number three. In lane one will be Emily Naismith of Australia. In lane number two, Bobby Sundberg of Sweden. just getting the equipment adjusted for our competitors you see Bobby Sundberg there getting her tacky set all smiles from Naismith Bit of a different facial expression Probably. from the two of them, huh? They are ready. Beautiful. This is a good run from Bobby in lane two there. Emily not far behind. Big powerful hips. Sunberg is looking very strong up from the lap onto the load. 20 seconds remain. Sunberg gets it. Still looking strong. She can't she get this final stone. Come on. She's got time. Come on. Yes. 300 pounds. Fight it, fight it. Come on. Yes. Oh. You saw oh. that little slip. That little slip on the way up and that was just enough to break her momentum. But Sunburn giving her absolute all and clearly showing us that she is capable of a 300 pound stone. Definitely. Just wasn't enough time. But either way, she did fantastic. Our next heat in our women's 73 kilo class in lane number one will be Lauren Ryder of USA and lane number two, Laura DeBert Romilly of Canada. Two amazing athletes, ferocious competitors. I've enjoyed watching Lauren Ryder ascend the ranks in competitive strong women. And the same can be said of Laura DeBert Romilly, who I recently got to see compete at the Shaw Classic. She sharpens her blade every single contest. One of the younger competitors here, but continues to improve. Let's see how it goes. Running fast start into that. Wow, good load from both ladies there. Laura, very fast on our pickup, very strong on the load. Laura, 
These are moving very, very well for Laura. Canadian power in lane number two. Still strong on the pickups. Oh, oh, Laura needs to stabilize herself, leaning back into those heels. Good recovery. Costly time though. A strong load, come on Laura. Oh. oh. Time expires. She was right there. I hate when it slips on the platform. <laughs> 275 pounds was right there dancing on the edge. What a strong performance. Very strong. The pickup from Laura on those stones was amazing. So explosive and fast. Heat five, lane one. Sherry Zimmerman of the USA and lane number two will be Jessica Mitchell of USA. All American heat right here. <laughs> Sherry has been all business today. Focused. And it shows in her placing. One motion there from Jessica. And again. Wow, this is a good time so far. You notice Zimmerman's shoes. It's quite a quite a hefty sole on those shoes, giving perhaps a little bit of extra height needed for these tall, tall loads. She is making it work. Jessica moving on to that final stone, a 300 pound stone. Will Let's she go, get Jessica. it? She's got time. Solid pickup. Can she get the load? She's gonna get it! Woo! Jessica Mitchell, 136 kilos, goes up and it looks so smooth. Oh, did you see that extension from Sherry there? That was that was beautiful. That's big points for Sherry, who just edges out Laura DeBert Romley there. Big points in the placing, but the story here, Jessica Mitchell, <laughs> 136 kilo stone, just about double body weight right there with ease, ease. Double body weight on a deadlift is one thing. Double body weight on an Atlas stone is something else. We can see to our left there, Gabe, we've got Chloe Brennan, who is in the zone. She absolutely is. She will take lane number one, representing Great Britain, and lane number two will be Nancy Johnson, also very much in the zone and ready to rock and roll. Cool, calm, and collected these ladies are. They are ready. They are full, fueled with fire, ready for this Atlas Stone run. It's that moment again where we need to get on the edge of our seat. to this one. Johnson ferociously fast and Chloe right behind her. I'm a little bit speechless right now. I'm just totally involved in this. Oh my, Nancy going on to that final stone. 300 pounds, 136 kilos, up to the lap with ease. And she up gets and over it! With ease. Nancy Johnson, phenomenal show. 15 seconds left, Brennan onto the 300. She needs to move. Come on, Chloe. Come on, Chloe. Come 
Has she got time? No. Our new event leader with an astonishingly fast, just insane, Nancy wow. Johnson, Queen of the Stones. Wow. Look at that. In third place from Great Britain is Chloe Brennan. Hailing from the USA, second place belongs to Jessica Mitchell. Your world's strongest woman under 73 kilograms, Nancy Johnson. Just incredibly powerful. All, all of these ladies. Those smiles from the podium. USA, USA, Great Britain. Another one from Great Britain there, Chloe Brennan. Good friend 